Now.org, The War and Peace Report. I'm Amy Goodman. The Syrian government's accepted a proposal by Russia to surrender its chemical weapons to international control, potentially nullifying U.S. rationale for launching strikes on Syria in order to deter chemical weapons use. Russia floated the proposal Monday following apparently offhand remarks by Secretary of State John Kerry about how Syria could avert U.S. military intervention if it turned over all chemical weapons in the next week. Obama responded to the Russian plan on PBS NewsHour, one of six TV appearances Monday. My intentions throughout this process has been to ensure that the blatant use of chemical weapons that we saw uh, doesn't happen again. If, in fact, there's a way to accomplish that diplomatically, that is overwhelmingly my preference. Uh, and, uh, you know, I have instructed John Kerry to talk directly to uh, the Russians uh, and run this to ground. Syrian President Bashar al-Assad made his own appearance on PBS Monday night in a pre-taped interview with Charlie Rose. He rejected Obama's drawing of a red line on chemical weapons use and said the U.S. should expect everything out of attacks Syria. Obama drew that line, and Obama can draw a line for himself and for his country, not for other countries. We have our red lines, like our sovereignty and our independence. While if you want to talk the word uh, red lines, the United States used uranium, depleted uranium in Iraq. Israel used white phosphorus in Gaza. And nobody said anything. What about the red lines? We don't see red lines. It's political.